memories. Still, it's a bit unnerving, what with the serial killer on the loose and all. Um, what? That word. The N-word. That's what we called it in my day. Didn't mean anything by it. It's just a colorful cultural reference. It's not derogatory. It's just like saying, he's an Indian giver. Or, she tried to Jew me down. Or, goddamn stupid spick bastard. I guess so. It just sort of sounds racist. Jackie, honey, you know I'm not prejudiced. I just as soon cut off my right arm than say something I thought might hurt somebody's feelings. This is just another example of that reverse discrimination. Oh, I know. Here it is. Mom! Don't you mom me, young lady. There's a serial killer loose in this area in case you haven't heard. Children should not be home alone without a handgun. Mom, I'm not a child. Besides, I won't be alone. Jenny Lee Curtis and Lisa Blair are coming over tonight. All the more reason to have this. Three tender, nubile young girls on the brink of budding womanhood in various states of undress at a Halloween slumber party is just the kind of scenario to attract any sexual deviant within a ten-mile radius. Didn't you watch Jerry Springer last week? In school they taught us that the majority of people who keep a handgun in the house will eventually have it used against them by an assailant. Oh, honey. First of all, don't believe everything they teach in school, huh? Heck, some schools are even saying that homosexuality is normal. And then they don't let kids pray. And secondly, guns don't kill people. People kill people. Now I'm your mom, and I think I know what's best. But I love you, Jackie. What with your father gone and your brother dead? You're all I've got left in this world. I love you. Never forgive myself if anything happened to you. Honey, there are people in this world that may seem perfectly normal on the outside, even nice. But on the inside, they're a seething cauldron of hate and resentment just waiting to explode. Holy shit. That's them. Jenny Lee and Lisa. I'll assume anything. Killer. <laughs> Very funny, girls. You wouldn't be laughing so hard if I accidentally blew off your pretty little heads, now would you? I guess not, Mrs. De Palma. Mm -hmm. Mom, please don't embarrass me. 
Now I'm expecting you girls to behave like young adults tonight. Understand? No funny stuff. Sure, you make jokes, but the truth is there's a serial killer out there. A serial killer that hard copy has revealed to be a sick pervert who attacks teenage girls, viciously beating them about the head, arms, and torso with a blunt object, dismembering them with a jagged edge hunting knife, driving out to the desert in a dark, nondescript, late model sedan, and burying them in makeshift shallow graves. So laugh, clown, laugh, but keep the door locked in no monkey business. Don't worry, Mrs. De Palma. I promise we won't get into any trouble. We're just gonna listen to music, tell ghost stories, talk about boys, braid each other's hair. Yeah, dabble in lesbianism, call some expensive 900 phone sex lines, shoot a snuff film, and haphazardly set up a crystal meth lab and blow up the house. <laughs> oh, Lisa. That shock value crap might work with your guidance counselor in school, but I'm hip to your dry sense of humor, you dig? I happen to know that you were still a virgin. Your mother told me so. Now there's nothing wrong with being a nice girl. <laughs> but if you feel the need to rebel, you go right ahead. Jenny Jones had a psychologist on who said rebelling is a normal part of growing up. Mom, don't you have some lives to save? I'm saving one now, honey. Believe it or not, Ripley, I was young once too. And I myself rebelled in much the same way. <laughs> I listened to the T-Rex and David Bowie. Heck, my parents thought I was nuts. Look at me today, head nurse in a big city hospital. I look at you, Lisa, and you know what I see? I see a bright, funny girl who only needs to focus her energy on something positive, and she can do anything she wants. What do you think? Eat shit and die. No, <laughs> Lisa. In the words of Dr. Marilyn Kagan, someone has some issues to work through. Ow. Ever heard of tough love, Lisa? You're hurting me! No, Lisa, you're hurting yourself. You better rise up before it's too late. Oh, speaking of late, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Now, girls, there's plenty of diet soda in the fridge. A twin pack of barbecue potato chips, a bag of fun-sized Snicker bars. Jackie, don't give any of those to those nasty trick-or-treaters, huh? They're way too expensive. And some pepperoni pizza hot pockets. Hot pockets! Just pop them in the microwave in their crisping sleeves for about two minutes. And Jackie, if you girls get hungry for a real meal, I made your favorite. Chicken a la king? Chicken a la king. It's in the crock pot in the kitchen. Now remember, no smoking, no drinking, no boys. And don't play games with that gun, honey, huh? It's got a hair trigger. That gun's only to be used in the event that someone breaks into the house and tries to kill you. Got it? Got it. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye. Mm. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I thought she'd never leave. I heard that, Miss Lisa Marie Blair. Now, Jackie, would you stir the chicken in the crock pot, huh? Don't let it burn. You know how expensive that white meat chicken is. Have fun, <laughs> girls. And remember, in the words of G. Gordon Liddy, aim for the face. What? Oh, Jackie, you are so lucky. My mom would never let me have a Halloween slumber party. She almost didn't let me come tonight. Why? Oh, you know, the serial killer and all. And she says that a single parent household is a bad influence. That kids like you get away with murder because you don't have anyone here to supervise you. Like all that makeup you wear. I've toned it down. She said a social worker on the Maury Povich show claimed that most kids from a single parent household end up in reform school by the time they're 16 or on crack. So I lied and I told her that your mom had the night off and I had to promise that you weren't gonna be here. She thinks you're a total slut. She's one to talk. Huh? Oh, nothing. No, what? Who wants a Hot Pocket? Lisa, what are you getting at? All right. My mom saw your mother's Burgundy Ford tours in the parking lot of that porno shop on Cahuenga. There are a lot of Burgundy Ford tourists in the valley. Not with personalized license plates that say cuddles and an I Heart David Hasselhoff bumper sticker. You're lying. I am not. Jackie, tell her about the time her mom came to the hospital and your mom had to help her. Hey, let's break open that bag of chips, huh? Well, she can't tell because of nurse-patient confidentiality laws. But I can, and I will. Your mom had a beer bottle up her butt. That is a total lie. My mom doesn't even drink beer. Well, somebody does. They obviously recycle, if you know what I mean. Fun size Snickers bar? <laughs> Look, you guys watch some TV. I'm gonna get the snacks.
What's so fun about a candy bar so small? We interrupt this program to bring you a special news report. We now join Andrea Cooper Cruz live on the scene of what may be yet another sighting of the apricot hanky serial killer. Andrea? <laughs> Hi, I'm Angela Cooper Cruz reporting to you live just outside of Fat Burger on Santa Monica Boulevard, where it seems there's been yet another apricot hanky victim. Oh, God. Just okay. minutes ago, people eating in this fast food restaurant uh, told authorities that they saw a chubby young girl turned into a dark lake bottle sedan. The identity of the minor is being withheld until her parents can be notified. If this chunky young lady turns up dead, she will be the 13th victim of what police have dubbed the apricot hanky serial killer. The apricot hanky found tied around the neck of each victim is well known in deviant underground sex circles as the calling card of a chubby chaser or a person who gets off having sex with fat people. Ew, gross. Sorry. Police have stated that although there is no reason to panic, dark-haired girls between the ages of 15 to 18 who are chunky to morbidly obese should exercise particular caution tonight and immediately report any suspicious strangers to the police. I'm glad I went to Jenny Craig. Wow, that's really scary, huh? Hey, I wonder if the killer would kill someone who just happened to be with the fat girl. Hey, you know what? I, I think I forgot something at my house. Yeah, I, I, I gotta go. Yeah, me too. Yeah. No way. I did not plan this whole party to have you two bail on me. Look, we're gonna have a party, and it's gonna be fun. I mean, there's no reason to be afraid. I've got a gun. And besides, what are the chances of them coming here, huh? Ah! <laughs> Who is it? Pizza. We didn't order any pizza. Hey, Lisa. Everybody chill. It's my new boyfriend, Tony. I gave him the address. Lisa, you heard my mom. No boys. <sighs> really? Even if he's got an extra large meat lovers, deep dish, reverse crust pizza? Well, there's no need to be rude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Thinking about your hot snatch all day. Ugh, candle lovey dovey baby talk. Let's grind. Follow me. Um, Jackie, if you need me, I'll be in your bedroom. <laughs> I can't believe what a slut she is. Whatever. Hey, Jackie, have you ever. Well, you know. No way! I'm saving myself for the man I marry. I'm still a virgin and proud of it. See, my chastity will be a precious gift that I bestow upon my husband on our wedding night. Oprah says abstinence is in, so I've decided to be cutting edge and wait. Lisa thinks she's cool, but she's way behind the times. I mean, come on. She's so Melrose Place, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what about you? Have you ever... Well... <laughs> what? Does my uncle count? Hey, let's not talk about this anymore. Have some pizza. <laughs> Who is it? Jackie, it's me, Henry. Oh shit, it's just my freaky next door neighbor, Henry. Just moved here from Arkansas. Barfed first day of school. Hey, Jackie! <laughs> that scare ya. What are you doing here, Henry? Well, I've been out trick-or-treating, and it's been the best year ever. I got peanut butter Twix, I got Gobstoppers, got Reese's Pieces, bubblegum tape, Baby Ruth, got Fruit Stripe gum, Chuckles, can of Pringles. I've got the fever for the flavor. Nerds, candy cigarettes, gummy savers. Look at this little Santa Claus pet. Isn't that precious? I got a T-bone steak. I got a travel size toothpaste. I'll take that. Got a Macintosh 128K. Uh, canned ham. I think it's horn mouth. Yeah, black label. I don't want that. Anyway, I found this razor blade inside this candy bar. Okay. If I hadn't been wearing my retainer, I could have been cut pretty darn bad. Got any butter flavor Crisco? I know where there's some vegetable oil. 
Would that work? Sure. It's in the kitchen. That's the room with the stove. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Who the fuck are you? Uh, hi, I'm Henry. Who are you? Don't worry about it, freak. You girls okay? This guy bugging you? We're fine. Yeah, we're just fine, tits. A tight ass, Tony. Alright. Yell if you need me. Oh my god, who was that? Lisa's new boyfriend, if you must know. Oh, why is he naked? I, I mean, he's got a really good body and everything, but... What is going on? He and Lisa are... You know. Oh, well, no way. <laughs> God, he's got a really good body. God, he makes me feel all funny downstairs. Jeez, Henry, drool much? Shall I get the wonder mop? <laughs> I bet he works out. I mean, he's got a really good body. <laughs> Maybe I should work out. What do you think, Jackie? Yes, I think you should work out. Some issues with a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can somebody help me find that oil? Be right there. Look, Hanky, you're obviously gay, and my mother says I'm not to talk to gay people. They're sick. You're sick. Now get out of here before we call the police and have you thrown in prison where you'll be sold to a big bald guy with tattoos for a pack of camels. I saw it on Geraldo. You'll have to do everything he says, and he'll call you Linda. so long. So, um, I guess delivering pizzas must be pretty exciting at times, huh? Sure. So what do you really want to do? I mean, if you could do anything in the whole wide world. Deliver Chinese. Oh my god, I love Chinese. Please leave, Henry. Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh, very funny. I just came by to warn you about the tainted candy in case you've got any. I'm not going trick-or-treating, Henry. Uh, why? Afraid of getting killed? No, I'm 15. I'm too old to trick-or-treat. But I'm 17. Exactly. You think you're hot snot on a silver platter, Jackie De Palma, and you're really cold boogers on a paper plate. Pick, roll, flick. Get out of here! I am leaving! But before I go, I just want you to know that you'll be sorry. I came over here to try to save your life, and what do I get? Yelled at and my masculinity questioned because I chose to portray Kimberly the Pink Power Ranger. Look, you mighty morphin flower arranger. Get the hell out! Please. <gasps> oh my god, it sounds like someone's being murdered! Jesus Christ! It sounds like it's coming from the kitchen! going on in here? I came in here and I found this creep all over Jenny. Oh, yeah, it was horrible. Wait a minute. I just saw this on Sally Jesse. Lisa, you hold a gun on him. I'm gonna call the Rape Crisis Center. I didn't rape her! Tell it to the police, William Kennedy Smith! Wait, don't call the police. I mean, it was partly my fault. Jenny Lee, don't you know? The victim often feels this way. No, I was sending mixed signals. He just misinterpreted my friendliness. Let him get dressed and go. I mean, it's really no big deal. It's not like it hasn't happened to me before. <laughs> I say we kill the son of a bitch and bury him in the backyard. Yeah! Did y'all see Extremities? Farrah Fawcett was so good in that. Yeah! <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Well, I was Kimberly the Pink Power Ranger until Jackie came along and rained on my Halloween parade. <laughs> More like Gay Pride Parade. <laughs> <laughs> Say good night, Henrietta, and take this piece of human garbage with you. And leave the candy! That'd be crazy, those girls, huh? 
I mean, like, hell hath no fury like a bunch of teenage girls running around their nineties. <laughs> um, hey, did you ever notice how, like, in a porno movie, there always seems to be that one thing where there's two girls, like, you know, doing it? I, I mean, I think it's really great. I think it's, like, you know, beautiful and natural and everything, but I don't know how I'd feel if it was two guys doing it. I think it's gross. Oh, oh yeah, disgusting. Like, icky. <laughs> I could never do it with a guy. Oh, me neither. Unless I was really drunk or something. <coughs> hey. <coughs> you all right, man? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Come on, you guys. This is supposed to be a party. <coughs> <laughs> God, look at us. This is ridiculous. We've got to relax. I mean, come on. It's not like the killer's going to call us. <laughs> Hello? Have you checked the children? What? Have you checked the chicken? Jackie, the chicken in the crock pot. You scared the shit out of me, Mom. Watch your language, young lady. Are you girls having fun? Yes. You don't have any boys over there, do you? No. You're not smoking, are you? No, we're not. Mom, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> Hello, I'm calling from the gas company, and we've been experiencing some outages in your area. And well, I was wondering, do you have gas? You do? Well, maybe you shouldn't have had beans for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jerky girls, it's party time. Look what I found. What's that? It's what you do whenever someone suggests we do something fun. Wine. Hey, my mom keeps that for cooking. Well, let's cook. <laughs> hey, slow down, Sarah T. Want some? Look what else I found. Your mom's homemade macarons. Want one, Jackie? Jackie? Want one? Macaroon? What are you making, Mommy? Macaroons. But they're not for you. These are for your daddy. Honey, I'm home. <gasps> Now remember, Jackie, these are not on your slimming program. There's some carrot sticks in the fridge. <laughs> Honey, I made your favorite. Mecca. <gasps> <coughs> Jackie, I told you those were for your father. God damn it. I work hard all day to put a roof over your heads and food on your plates and not even one lousy macaroon when I get home. That's it. The last straw. I'm out of here. I hope you're happy, young lady. Your father's gone and it's all your fault! Jackie? Becky? Jackie, do you want a macaroon? No! God, overreact much? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it. God, I brought this. What's that? A bong. What? No, a bong for smoking grass. He said don't do it, just say no. Uh, relax, Nancy Reagan. It's just Mary Jane, it's no big deal. Don't you see? That's how it starts. Next thing you know, you're lying face down in front of the Viper Room with a needle sticking out of your arm. Jesus Christ, Jenny Lee, don't overreact. I mean, it's totally natural. It's just an herb. Jackie, don't tell me you're a pothead, too. Well, no, I mean, I don't consider myself a stoner chick or anything, but I do enjoy the occasional tope now and then. <coughs> what with drive-by shootings, fires, earthquakes, the riots, Serbia, Bosnia, Melanie Griffith, and now this serial killer? A gal's gotta blow off some steam somehow. Why don't you just try yoga? You know, I am so sick of your holier-than-thou attitude, Mother Teresa. Just try it. No. <coughs> Come on, just this once? No, it's wrong. What's the matter, you chicken? I am not chicken. I mean, cut me some slack. Let up on the peer pressure. If you guys were really my friends, you wouldn't make me do anything I don't want to do. I am my own person. Ricky Lake says it takes a lot of strength to go against the grain, to stand up for what one believes in, not to conform to your outdated idea of nonconformity. Jenny Lee. Oh, all right already. <sighs> All right, well, what's a party without some music, huh? Yeah. Hold it in. Hey, how 
want you guys to hear something really cool. This is a song from the 70s called Love Roller Coaster. My mom told me this great story about how this girl got stabbed in the alley behind the recording studio while the Ohio players were recording the song. That's bullshit. And that's what I thought until I heard it. Listen. Yeah, the story goes it was just too expensive to re-record the song, so they kept it in. Pretty scary stuff, huh? Hey, wait a minute. Isn't this song called Love Roller Coaster? Yeah. Well, it just sounds like people screaming on a roller coaster. The whole thing was planned. Nobody was stabbed. Are you calling my mother a liar? Look, Jackie, why don't you try to be a little less chic la freak and a little more Frankie goes to Hollywood, okay? Relax. Hey, don't bogart that bong, Jackie. Listen, I got an idea. Why don't we go in the other room and play with the Ouija board? All right. Look, you guys, I don't think we should mess with the occult. It's nothing more than an invitation for Satan, the unholy lord of hell, to step right into your heart. Yeah, Jenny, I'm sure that's exactly what Parker Brothers had in mind when they decided to market it. <laughs> Look, if you're scared, just sit and watch. But we're going to do it. It's for doers. So, who should we try to contact? Hey, how about your dead brother? Just ask it a question. Right. What's your name? K A R E N Karen. Oh my god, are you moving it? No. This is super scary, you guys. I feel really paranoid. No, it's just the weed. It's Acapulco gold. Ask it another question. What's your favorite color? Jenny Lee, we've just made contact with the other side. Do you think we could move beyond Tiger Beat interview questions? Yeah. Karen, do you know who the serial killer is? Good one. Oh my god, it shot right to yes. Karen, who is it? C. L. O. S. E. Number two, you. Close to you. Oh my god, the serial killer is someone close to us. Maybe it's that gay Henry guy. What makes you think it's Henry? Anybody who decides to go against God's natural plan is liable to do anything. Besides, the killer is always the homo. Oh my god, you guys, look! <gasps> I'm starving. Sure. Here. Thanks. The bathroom's down the hall. Oh, I don't have to do that anymore. This one's a keeper. Karen, what's it like? You know, heaven. I said I was in heaven. <gasps> Just kidding. Heaven, it's like I'm on top of the world. Looking down on creation. Do you have any messages you want us to give your millions of fans around the world? Um, well, just that I really like Todd Haynes' movie, Superstar. I thought it was funny. The TV movie was okay, but Cynthia Gibb looked really fat in my old clothes. And I hate that stupid tribute album. Cool. Well, I gotta go. Wait! Karen, you have to help us. There's a serial killer in the area, and... I know. I told you. He's close to you. He's got some sort of a blunt instrument, a jagged-edged hunting knife, and he's really into scarves. Bye-bye. Wait! Karen! Wait! Karen! Is your brother Richard gay or not? Jackie! Don't go into the line! Huh? That bitch ate all the pizza. 
Did you guys just hear something outside the house? Like what? I don't know, a, a late model sedan pulling up in the alley? That's it, give me that bong. No, wait a minute. I think I heard something too. Look, I know what you two are trying to do. You're trying to scare me. Well, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Jackie, it's me, Henry. I just wanted to tell you that someone's trying to get into your house right now. I can see them from my window. Oh my God, it's my freaky next door neighbor, Henry. He said someone's trying to break into the house. He could see them. Well, maybe it's Shrek. But Karen Carpenter said that the killer was close to us. Listen, Henry, listen very carefully. You've got to... Oh my God, the phone's dead. <laughs> and we're next. There's no need to panic. Let's just remain calm and try to remember where I left that gun. Oh my god, the killer is coming in the front door. Thanks, Jenny Lee. Why didn't you just scream we're in the dining room? Come and slaughter us. Cut it out. This is no time to argue amongst ourselves. We gotta stick together and find that fucking gun. He's getting closer. We're all going to be killed. Snap out of it. I found it! Give it to me! Why should I? Because I'm the star! Mom! Oh. I just came home to get my rain bonnet. Oh, Mom, I told you we shouldn't keep this lousy gun in the house! Little Myths know it all. Oh, Mom, don't say that. Please, uh, quick, go get the cordless phone out of my mom's room. Why do I have to do everything? <laughs> Jenny, come on, give her some air. Oh, Mom, don't worry. Hold on tight. Please don't die. Okay, I'm gonna call 911. We'll have an ambulance here before you know it. Hey, you were right about that gun. What a hair trigger. Bleeding pretty badly. Hello? Yes, I just accidentally shot my mother. I thought she was the African Yankee serial killer, but she just came home to get a ring bonnet. I can hold. Thank God I had the sense to scotch guard the couch. Damn, I'm still on hold. I know, I'll call the hospital. No, no, no. On speed dial. Anthony Perkins Memorial Hospital, may I help you? Yes, you've got to help me. I just accidentally shot my mother. She's an employee there, and I thought maybe. What is her name? Nurse Nancy De Palma. Please hurry. Nurse Nancy De Palma hasn't worked here in over six months. She was fired when she refused to take a polygraph test regarding some rather suspicious infant deaths. Hello? Hello? They say you haven't worked there in months. That you killed some tiny little babies. Oh, Jackie, I never wanted you. Huh? To find out. You mean it's true? Look at my purse. <laughs> Why, Mom? Why? Why? Shh, shh, shh. Don't talk. It's me, your daughter, Jackie. And I love you very, very, very much. Why? Hot pockets. No! Listen, Jackie, I gotta go. This is just too freaky for me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Bye. See you at school on Monday. You guys! <laughs> of Christ. My mother was the apricot hanky serial killer. All this time she's been killing fat teenage girls with dark hair. Wait a minute. She's been killing me over and over again. Oh, Mom. All those times you said you wanted to kill me. I thought you were kidding. But you weren't. No. 
You meant it. Now you're dead. Fat girls can come and go as they please. I'm safe. The city is safe. It's all over. Yeah, it's all over. Guess I better call the police. And then Montel Williams. Strong out. 